Alrighty, folks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unveil this thing, and you'll just have to excuse me while I rip open the plastic. Doing this one-handed, so I'm an idiot. Uh, I had somebody, uh, well, it was Alan actually, who said, Yeah, you just ought to buy another one. <clears throat> so that you can, uh, you know, out of the plastic, I, what do you, the value of it goes down substantially. Yeah. I'm recording. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so here we have it, the uh, artist edition of Tales Calculated to Drive You Mad. And, oh my goodness, look at that. That is from one of the early comics, uh, Restaurant. And wowie, wowie, that is something else. I'm not going to go page by page. This will take all day. But dedicated to Harvey Kurtzman, who inspired us all. I just might be silent here for a bit as I take, take this in. Introductions by Terry Gilliam. God, this is just a massive, massive book. And the table of contents. So when they say artist edition, they they really mean it's got it's got all the <clears throat> the notes and and rough. Uh, markings for the printer, I'm assuming. You guys can correct me on that if you know what some of these things mean. But this is like original artist renderings. Uh, and it just it contains uh, gosh, some really interesting details. This camera is not going to do justice, so I apologize. If I run across something kind of interesting, I'll share it. Wow. So it looks to be, you know, as they, you know, these handwritten page numbers and, you know, it looks like it just, oh, uh, lol, now this is, this is one of my favorite ones, I have to say, in the early comics. Yeah, love that guy. Yeah, it's just a beautiful book. Um, I mean, uh, it has reproductions of the covers. Oh, it looks like it has original uh, concept pieces, too, of how some of these things came to be. I really jumped ahead, but... Wow. I don't want this to go too long, so... Just kind of quickly... So it looks like they, they went ahead and did... Some sort of an order to these. I'm going backwards now. Okay, the Mad Gallery. I was pretty lucky. I just kind of randomly turned back to this and saw this. Wow, look at that, Wolverton. Huh. So you've got a collection of the some early stories I don't, I don't know the extent of, but then you get into these covers. And uh, no, they're, the, they're the roughs that became the, the actual things. Hmm. The paper is, of course, very sturdy stock, as you would expect. It's, uh, it's not cheap. I'll tell you, it's uh, 
Uh, one of my favorite Jack Davises. Mm, yeah, number five is also. I, I could go on and on. Every every single thing is a favorite. So it's kind of ridiculous to say, oh, it's one of my favorites. So you can see the, hopefully you can see it in the, in the video here, the, the post lines, the, uh, the paper, uh, the, as everything is pasted up. That's how they did that. With notes about how long things are to be. So I don't know about the history of all, how this all came to be or where they collected these things. I'll have to read the notes on it, on it but uh, how this was made available for this for this particular book. But uh, feels like you're really being given an inside look at things. I've never seen anything like it, uh, and I think there's been similar things. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Uh, Probably not done to this to this degree this well. A little biography on Harvey Kurtzman at the end. And then So there you go folks. Really worth your time getting.